morning. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. What's yeah. going on? We're having a discussion about the possibility of these items. Um, they're very vulnerable to grab. Um, and it's about how they can be used. Working in London as an artist, anyway, you know, it's already crazy to, to just make this a choice. Um, it's difficult enough. Working as a black artist is twice as difficult, I think. People accept um, the fact that, you know, you're a black artist and you're working. Um, this wasn't the case, you know, 15 years ago. And with all the background lights like near the wall, that will be gone, right? Um, we can lower that. Would you like me to lower and show you what that yeah. would look like? Yeah. yeah, I'll just do that. There were not many role models of very successful black artists when I left art school. You know, I mean, a lot of the um, black artists who were working mostly had to teach and um, didn't necessarily make a living from their work. And I had to devise ways of, you know, making myself heard and my work you know, uh, to be received. And I wanted to see if there was a way of actually transcending those barriers and seeing if those barriers could somehow be pushed down and uh, find a way of doing it in a subtle way. One of the difficulties I think that the generation um, before me had, perhaps the work was seen as uh, maybe threatening, I don't know. Uh, and, you know, so private galleries and private collectors were probably nervous uh, to engage with the work. Did we talk about, oh, sorry, Inka, did we talk about the um, lighting for the gentleman's parlour? What happens inside there? And that's it? That's it. But you, don't, you generally don't have any lighting around the what, outside? I mean, what you can do is you can highlight some of the furniture. Right. You okay. know, so that you can, yeah. The room itself is supposed to be not very well lit at all. Is that the case? Yeah, no, I mean, obviously lit enough so that people can see what's going on in mm -hmm. the room. But you still want to give the feeling that of inside and outside. Right. So I think I tried to devise a way that I thought, you know, would actually make it possible to get my work into the system. You know, rather than actually standing outside of the system and shouting at the system. That's where the kind of trickster thing comes in, really. In a way that people are kind of just tricked, rather than knowing that I'm actually confronting them with a gun. Uh, and then realizing, you know, once they've been absorbed into my world, uh, you know, realizing actually that this stuff is um, is actually quite lethal, but not realizing that immediately. <laughs>